right here we're in a beautiful Costa Mesa Newport Beach day handling a few cars out of a collection here that we've handled this collection for a lot of years and uh, cars are always special when they come up uh, he's owned this car a lot of years and has been part of the collection it's one of his favorite cars it's a 1963 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 3 they were built from like 1963 to 66 uh, Total production during that time span was about 2,044, I think if my numbers are right in my head. Uh, and uh, in 63, they were built uh, somewhere around 570 or so. We're going to walk around and tell you what we know. And uh, he's got pretty good, this is an original factory order for a California client. We've actually got the order sheet on the car and some other stuff and a file on the seat here. And we'll actually cover that probably in the trunk portion of the video. The finish in this car is just spectacular, um, a lot of level. It's hard to find cars in this condition. This car is turnkey, ready to go. As part of this collection, this gentleman likes to make sure his cars are working and drivable. Um, so a uh, very special car. The paint on this car is about, it was refinished about 30 years ago, but you'd never know it by looking at it. You swear it was done a few years ago. Uh, really nice, you can kind of see the reflections. Uh, Neat little t tidbit on these cars. These uh, Silver Cloud 3s are actually, the hood is all aluminum and the doors and the rear deck lid are all aluminum pieces on them and you don't want to lean against the doors on this car. Um, walk around, the driving lights were so an option that the owner had ordered and, and again that's on, this, on the spec sheet here. And we're going to cover the things as they come off my brain and, uh, and then uh, We'll cover more at the website at spudsgarage.com. Also, typically you'd notice these cars would have a fender uh, rear view mirrors on them, front and rear, but this particular car, and the reason they did that is they didn't want their cars to have any wind noise. In this particular car, the gentleman actually ordered it with pillar mount mirrors because he didn't want the bulky mirrors up front in his vision line. So the mirrors are put on here much like an American style would have done. He has updated the uh, tires on it to the American Classic black walls, which are a radial uh, tire with a biased look. Has air conditioning, and again, everything is functional on this car. We'll cover some more of the special items that were built on the car or how it was ordered. 63 Cloud. You'll see these cars at various levels, but cars at this level and this condition are very hard to find, and they usually they uh, do fairly well. Something is uh, the collection owner's wife doesn't really want him to sell, but you'll see the body on this car is just gorgeous. Um, so it's been well uh, maintained over the years, but it's also restored. We put this car up on the lift, and the bottom side is just like the day it was born. It's just beautiful, an original California car again. Um, we actually will spend some time underneath the hood. You can barely hear it run. Again, a side mount, pillar mount mirror on it. The leather's all been redone with the correct materials. It has uh, Connolly leather in it. One of the other things I noticed when I was looking at the spec sheet that he requested that the dark, the wood be as dark as it could possibly be. I know they probably had a little bit of lighter wood in them. Um, Connolly leather, as has Mouton, is what Ray told me they're called, uh, sheepskin floor covers on it. But what's really neat is underneath here is the original carpet to give you the quality of this car before. So it has the original carpet underneath the Mouton, the sheepskin Mouton. It's kind of puffy, kind of neat. This is the uh, file I was talking about. It actually has the uh, order sheet in it. The original handwritten order sheet and then there's an updated order sheet that's typed. We'll cover that at Spud's Garage. We're going to take this file back to the office with us and cover what we can with it. Has a flip down armrest in it. Has a new headliner and new interior in it. Or newer when they uh, re uh, freshened up the car, so to speak. All the woodwork and everything is just beautiful. Um, this is original plating on this car. I forgot to cover it on the front bumper. I'll cover it on the rear one. But you can tell this car was uh, loved as, uh, for its use and protected. Again, Conley leather, correct hides on it. These here. He also, uh, up front here, we'll share with you when we get to the driver's side, I'll cover that. But all the woodwork is just spectacular. Now the rear, the rear has the ashtrays in it, but it has ashtrays leats in the front. Anyone is driver smoking, I assume. The headrests on the car too are very rare. 
a lot of these cars, who would have thought about headrests in 1963? Only these British cars where they spent a lot of time on it. Um, American cars didn't put them into the later years. Believe that paint in the door jam is the original black. It's just a respectful refinish on the car that's just amazing. Doors shut like they're supposed to. Again, the upgraded American Classic radial tires on it. This is a car that's just long, presidential, elegant. A lot I can think of a lot of different uh, uh, kind of words to use or adjectives. You'll see this plating, you can see just a little, you can't even really see anything on it, but I can tell this is original plating on the bumper. One of the things when he ordered it too, uh, is uh, he had the emblem shipped without the emblem on the rear of the car. He didn't want the emblem on the back of the car. Now you'll see the little rolls on the back bumper there. If you're an avid collector of these cars, you know cars like this. Uh, the condition of this car, condition is everything. Um, this car is a very nice car. Big old fuel door they put on these. Again, the deck lid and the doors and the hood are all aluminum on this car. I spent quite a bit of time photographing it this morning in the shade. You're going to have a really good look at the interior of the paint job on the car. Full of reflections in the sun here. You don't pick up as many reflections, but it's just a beautiful body on this car. Same thing here. Functioning. Ashtray. Only in the back seat. headrests all the correct material uh, I think it's called a broadcloth material all the windows work everything works you notice the dome lights working there when the doors open again the darker wood the finish on this wood is just uh, as good as the day left the factory I'm gonna bat he's got some really rare keys sitting on the seat there we'll show them with you he's got uh, some original uh, Yale NOS keys that they were able to cut from uh, the other thing on the order with this car is they ordered it, we will see one of the orders, they ordered it with a locking driver compartment here on this side, when typically it would have been walk, locked on one side, not the other, so on and so forth. Um, but the longer key, one of them uh, is like a valet key, so the key's longer, and it will it'll only allow opening of the box with a certain key, but you can still start the car, both keys start the car. Now he has a curator that works on these cars, and he does these uh, neat radio upgrades, so it's been upgraded to a modern uh, audio system, uh, so to speak, on the factory face. Or modernized, put it that way. Better quality sound. The file down there is what I popped on the floor. Everything works, all the gauges. Like always, he insists on everything working on these cars. Um, it's got, uh, the odometer reads, uh, three miles which is actually just rolled over so it's a hundred thousand and three miles again the engine was freshened up and the paint was redone um, and everything is functional all right we're gonna fire it up here again like I said he likes to make sure everything is working we're gonna go ahead and flip there Radio works. This is the uh, fuel door release right here. All the gauges are functioning like they're supposed to be. Amp gauge is working. Oil pressure's in the right in the normal range. Car's not warmed up. Fuel gauge reads about a quarter tank. It has actual uh, ride control on it too, and I believe that's this switch right here. Yep. So you can change it for do like a sport ride or a normal ride. Um, again, all the locking boxes work, horn works, does have air conditioning, I believe those are the AC controls down there. I'm going to hop out and let you hear it run here. Nice of them to open the door. Oops. Let you hear it one more run one more time here. Go to spudsgarage.com, we'll take you underneath the engine compartment, have a great day. Alright, so we're sitting in here messing around a little bit. 
this particular, uh, the owners helped me out. There's a little button up here on the dash and you'll see the fuel gauge. This button actually tells you how much oil's in the oil tank on the car. You can see where the difference is there. All right, let's take a look underneath the hood. Just like everything else in this collection, this car is just very tidy underneath the hood, full respect to originality. Um, at some point prior to his ownership, we actually have a file on in the car and we can kind of cover some of that. But uh, the engine was actually pulled out of the car to refinish all the taupe, as he called it here, the, uh, the finish on this car. The firewall correctly finish it. A lot of people would paint those black and so on and so forth. But it's uh, all factory underneath the hood here. Actually, the hood, and I probably did cover it on the walk around. The hood's aluminum on this car. Um, and a lot of the components are aluminum on the car. All hand-built stuff. These were hand-built cars. The last of the hand-built cars. Anyway, the VIN number on it here is underneath the hood. It's uh, LSDW509. RR64 means it was built in 64, it's a 63 model. But everything is functional. We'll get over to the other side here. They've updated the cooling fan in it so it's quieter. Um, the engine cooling fan. This is kind of neat. When you look at the air filter here, there's a wing nut that comes off here. And you'll see this little spot right here. This little lever up here, this little cable comes down and actually holds the air filter up so you can service it. Kind of neat. Hand-built car, runs flawlessly. Again, assists on everything working. You'll notice the new fan belts there. We're gonna get over to the AC here. Um, the louvers here, the cooling louvers, everything works like it's supposed to. Um, they have a, uh, the new cooling fan. You can see it there. It's quieter for the air conditioning is what, what it is when it keeps the condenser dry, uh, cooler dry. <laughs> anyway, all new AC compressor, it's correct. It's a York AC compressor on it. The AC system has been gone through. You'll see newer lines and actually underneath the apron, you can actually see them too. It's been updated with electronic ignition, so you don't have to worry about points or anything like that. But while they had the engine out, um, from what we know, he, they went through and just checked the whole engine out and redid the upper end on it when they refinished the engine compartment here. This is a very nice car. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Hang on to the end of the video. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention that it has, when we go to the undercarriage, you'll know it has a, I covered a new fuel pump on the bottom side. It's got dual SU carburetors on it, and they've also been synced and gone through here by the curator. So, uh, starts right up, super quiet car. We'll start it up for you here in a minute. Okay, he's gonna fire it up here, but we thought we'd raise the air filter up so you could see how that works. It just gives you access to the carburetors. Idle super, super low RPM idle. Dialed in super nice. Let me go to the back here. You can actually hear it run. I know we got a little bit of a wind going on, but. Just as quiet as can be. Anyway, you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Hang on to the end of the video. All right, we're gonna cover the trunk here with you. Again, full respect to factory. This is a very nice car. We're gonna show you a couple little things. Here's the front plate. If you stay in California, you could put these plates on the car. It's got the back plate on, but here's the front plate. The no poupon was the previous plate that was on the car, and we're gonna go ahead and include that with it. Underneath this panel here, the spare tire actually comes out. This is the uh, spare tire down in there. Access yeah. for air. Access for the air on the spare. And got tools. The tool kit is in there. Yep. The Not factory good. tool kit's Not in the truck. About a thousand bucks if you can find all the tools. Nice. There you go, go to Spuds. All right, we're fortunate enough to get it up on the lift here for you. As part of the collection, we're able to uh, get underneath these cars and share them with you. Uh, just amazing California, uh, originally sold and ordered. 
out of England for a California client. We have the build sheet. Now we've probably already told you that in uh, earlier portions of the video, but we sometimes repeat ourselves. Um, he maintains this car perfectly and it is all uh, original underneath here. All the brakes have been updated by the uh, collection here. Uh, they went through all the brakes, master cylinder, everything. It has the original leather uh, gator, uh, gaiters here or spring wraps. It has the American Classic uh, bias look radials on it, which are brand new, black walls on it. Got to give you a feel there. They look stock, but they're actually a radial uh, and a bias casing. Um, they had to update the muffler in the back here of the resonator, so it's got an OEM uh, uh, NOS component that was installed there. You get underneath, they over-engineered everything with these cars. Um, the brakes on it are very intricate. Took the gentleman a lot of time to work on these. Not sure he'd want to do another one. Um, but just rock solid floor pans, California car. Has a uh, all new uh, NOS uh, SU dual electric fuel pump on it for the SU carburetors on it. So the new fuel pump, all the drive lines, all original. Here's part of the braking system. There's the master right there. All the factory shielding is here. You can barely even hear this car run. It just floats down the road with the greatest of ease. It's got this uh, tin here. These are actually uh, carburetor drains. When it, if it happens to overflow at the carburetor rather than have it spill underneath the hood, it would actually spill right on the road. But he's got them dialed in where that's not happening. Um, all the suspensions all factory on it if you're looking for a survivor silver silver cloud this baby with known California history and build sheet this one will fit the bill there's actually a steering stabilizer ram here that goes through and connects with the steering box on it just amazing very intricate what the British put together on these. Different than most any other car. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea like I always say, go to spudsgarage.com, give us a call, we're never any pressure. Thanks for hanging around to the end of the video. This is the most important part of the car if you're interested. Um, condition. Condition is everything. There you go.